so it's 6 a.m. and once in a while we do a community trash pickup. So we got a couple friends together and we're out here way in Bakong in some destination I've never been to. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna go underwater, pick up some trash. So let's get to it. We finally get to use the trucks for something besides uh, boat building material. Show how awesome it is. Got all the gear. Actually, let's go do a little tour and uh, show you who showed up for the. We're doing two dives. The first one is here in Bakong, and the second one is like an epic dive we do. We get permission for once a year. I'll tell you about that later. But let's let's go. Uh... Oh look, there's Shy. <laughs> Let's go look around. So I told you we brought a few friends, but I think it was more than a few. I brought my dog. Uh, his name is Spot. I brought my other dog. His name is Bacon. We got uh, Elvis's little brother. He hasn't seen 6 a.m. since he was born. So we got a few people together. Let's go pick up a ton of trash. My crew, maybe 20 of us, are gonna go underwater. These guys are gonna clean the beach. Here in Bakong, a brand new destination for me, this area at least. We're done picking up the trash. Let's uh, get underwater and do it. We got some underwater mesh bags somewhere that we can pick up some trash. <laughs> go get it up. Go get geared up, you little nerd. <laughs> All right, let's get in the water. People are waiting for us. Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty cool dive and we got a lot of trash so that's all that matters and it's it's always it's always nice doing a 6 a.m dive man it's a good way to start every day but let's go see we got a whole bunch of trash and uh we saw those little seahorses and uh octopus and stuff just in the shallows like one foot of water in the grass where you think there's nothing and so it just goes to show you guys if even if you're not a diver just watch where you step all that seagrass it looks like nothing it's just covered in life i was showing elvis little leaf sheep and nudie branks and there's just so much stuff down there so watch where you step anyways let's go see how much trash they got and we got to run to the next dive site which is going to be epic Dude, look at all this trash that all the divers collected. Heck yeah, gotta keep the beaches clean. We're meeting John and the crew of another resort at this dive, but we brought extra tanks anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yep, we're moving through the gear. <laughs> I didn't even see this. Look. What? All right, get in. Let's go. Huh? Yeah, let's go! Yeah! Okay, go, go! Yeah, dude! Dude, this is gonna be so sick, man! We got past two security checkpoints, go. Let's dive some more! So this dive is really special. We get permission to do this once a year by the Coast Guard and the Port Authority. Okay, probably you guys have not been watching this channel long enough, but uh, basically, I made this same dive about a year ago with some friends. It's a trash cleanup, but we're diving onto this pier, onto this giant freaking term, uh, ferry terminal pier. And yeah, it's really, it's a really crazy dive. There's hundreds and hundreds of pillars. It's like a forest, it's dark, uh, but yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be insane. We're gonna pick up trash, but I'm also gonna bring my big camera because this is one of the coolest dives we do all year. If if they allowed everybody, every dive shop would be here every day because this is epic. If we find that video from last year, we'll put it up on the screen, but we got a big group, so let's get started. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Dude, are you excited? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, this would be sick. If you guys so haven't excited. done pier diving before, it's uh, epic. It's really cool. Uh, the stuff that grows on these pilings are pretty awesome except for you guys that haven't done it before also it has that kind of cool creep factor to it Dude, makes it even better let's freaking do this man shy you're filming as well are you excited are you nervous yeah have you been under here before uh it's my second time Hala, sala, yeah. i'm gonna give us some uh dive briefings because it's kind of a dangerous dangerous dive diving under these ferries and container ships it was a little scary last time, but we're gonna wait for the big Montenegro ferry to leave and then we'll go. It's almost high tide, it'll be good. That's as much as you can, okay? But uh, be sensitive to the dinghy that's on the water to make sure that we're okay. I don't know about these exits, man. It's like 10 foot above the water. We gotta climb up the cement wall or something. Show, show that. Thank you. 
turned out as good as it was for us doing it that was that was amazing dive these guys are amazed how beautiful and nice it was there's so many species down there it's crazy it never sees the light of day uh, but we most importantly got a whole ton of trash out from under there and heck even on the first dive we got a whole ton of trash above and below the water so amazing dive great day tomorrow back on the boat so see you there and you know what if you're a new member I'm getting a new member every single day you can hit the join button here's some member shout outs right here <laughs> 